Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another fun and exciting edition of Been Rolling Playing the Old Republic. This time we will be taking on Drummond Koss once again, but with our uh, little Sith Inquisitor and his Sith eating friend. Let's check the console here. Yours, Minsk, Arias, Sis, Mikmos, Gus, Oraha. Quiet, bodyguard. Save your hissing for your own kind. As for you, slave, Darth Scotia is passing. Best get out of his way. Darth Scotia can wait. You're making a huge mistake, filth. Give your master a message for me. My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Drummond Kass. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. What do you think? Can you eat him? Jani Bragais. Uns in Freistub Ha! Fools! That was a interesting way to uh, come upon the uh, planet here, I guess. Not exactly what I was expecting, but you know, wasn't really expecting much of a welcome for the Inquisitor. Everyone seems to look down on us, but I do love our little uh, friend Kim here. Always hungry. Always looking for justice. What's in here? Oh, you don't currently have a ship in this hangar. Well, then don't make it green. <sighs> Alright, so. As this is our second visit to uh, Drummond Cause. But possibly your first, if you are not paying attention to the bounty hunter class at all. Uh, I guess I'll still leave... Uh, some of the stuff in here so you can see what's going on, what stuff looks like, all that uh, fun, juicy bit. So this is a quest here, there he is. My lord, Lieutenant Malohi, may I beg a moment of your time? Are you really going to beg? I might enjoy that. If my lord requires. I humbly ask my lord for the honor of speaking, so that we might both serve the needs of the Empire. I immediately love being a Sith, now that I actually am one, because now I, at least, the non-Sith, have to talk to me like that. Amazing. Rise and report, Lieutenant. At this moment, Lord Cross is meeting with the Minister of War to make recommendations for our next moves against the Republic. I have prepared his reports, but he also desires a personal interview with someone involved in the recent fighting. So you haven't been involved in the recent fighting? I've been assigned to Drome and Cass for the past six months, and the galaxy is changing quickly. Please, make sure these documents get to Lord Cross in the Citadel in a timely fashion. It is only with the insight and wisdom of the Sith that we can hope to win this war and conquer the hated Republic forever. Okay, so we gotta deliver a report. In peace, no god, lake mans, and none, ele sare sons. That's cool. There it come. Let's see what this guy wants. I'm Commander Ryland, my lord. I apologize for my abruptness, but I'm afraid I must request assistance with an emergency. Something is stirring up the jungle beasts, which makes the route between here and Kar City hazardous. Several individuals traveling on foot have disappeared. I've even had reports of jungle beasts attacking speeders. 
Life is rough, but at least it's interesting. One of the speeders that was attacked belonged to an admiral. She escaped serious injury, but the situation demands immediate action. I dispatched two commando teams into the jungle to clear out the beasts, but they never returned. An emergency holo message came through from one of the team leaders. I'll play it for you. Repeat. Landing beacons are emitting some kind of energy. Power surges are driving the beasts mad. Can't get close enough to reroute power. Lost my team. Beasts closing in. Need reinforced. Ah! Sensors confirm unusual energy readings in the jungle. The spaceport's landing beacons appear to be the cause. How could landing beacons affect the creatures? If a beacon's energy signature has been altered, the sonic frequency could be extremely disruptive to a creature's nervous system. I hesitate to ask, my lord, but if you reroute power on those landing beacons, the Empire will be most grateful. I'll track your progress from here. Return when you're done. Good luck. The jungle predators are fierce. All right, kill jungle swine. Looks like we got a travel thing. Here. Ready for departure. And he can go there. Enjoy your stay. That's nice. All right, so we need to deal with beacons, and then of course they're just right here. We need to run ridiculously far for them. So I'll show the first one and anything entertaining that may pop up around it. But it doesn't look like anyone's here. Alright, first one's done. There's an enemy, finally. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to play my class. Dropping junk. The Dark Lord commands that you drop epics. Alright, let's see. Skyrim training. Check. Uh, and. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so let's uh, cut forward here since it seems that it will take me a minute to get over to where I need to be. And now, you will die. Not a whole lot in our rotation for a caster, but uh, enough. It is enough. Hey, another guy. What's up, dude? Enjoy the lightning. And there's the bonus mission done. Does not lead to another one. Switch this early, thank god. Alright, one more. And here's our last one. Pretty simple. And I guess I'll head back and turn this in. And we've returned. Welcome back, my lord. Sensors indicate you rerouted power to all the landing beacons. Analysis indicates they were deliberately sabotaged to drive the jungle beasts insane. I am transmitting a full report to Cast City. Please accept this and my deepest gratitude, my lord. I bid you good day. Better. We get a belt, which is... Eh, okay, I'll take the belt. What the hell? I don't even know. Holy Jehoshaphat. Do I need to empty my bags? soon. Well, I guess since I'm uh, going to take a speeder, you go that way. By manfall. And let's get out of here. Destination? 
Enjoy your stay. And get a better glimpse of what the jungle kind of looks like. Fly through another little area here. I probably should have got the quest from. Oh wait, no, it's a heroic. Never mind. Never mind. Passed up another quest. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna run back and get it. Three hundred and sixty one credits. I will take it. The River Fall Wilds. Quite the place for the sea. Alright, what do you want? Finally, someone who can keep their head in a crisis. Rebel slaves hit my team in the jungle. They stole weapons, supplies. As if that wasn't bad enough, the idiots ransacked our spires for parts. Without those components, we've got a lightning spire building up dangerous energy levels. It'll crater half of Car City if it blows. How long until the spire explodes? I can't say for sure. We should have at least enough time to avert the disaster. Most of my men ran off. Some tried to reclaim the spire parts, but the rebels cut them down. I came back here for reinforcements. We need to recover the components the rebels stole and get that lightning spire back online before it goes critical. The rebel scum will wish they'd never touched the spires. Excellent. I'll hold off raising the alarm for a while longer. The rebels are camped along the river. Blast them down, pry the stolen components from their hands, and then reinstall them at the spire. If the river runs red with rebel blood, I'll throw in something extra. So kill guys, and they'll throw in something, oh, whatever. All right, so let's uh, head on up to the city before we uh, deal with rebels and see what else we have to deal with. Yeah, looks like we have somebody who wants to speak to us. A second of your time, please. Mind a 20. Imperial Intelligence. The faster you talk, the better. You're a new face on Droman Kass. That presents a unique opportunity and a small window in which to use it. I need you to meet a man. Go where he says and do what he asks. There's little danger. But you must not question him. I'll play your game, but if this is some sort of setup, I'll hunt you down. Of course, my lord. The man is named Manda, and he is in a local cantina. Tell him the Lord of Sorrow sent you. Good luck. We will not speak again. All right. This quest kind of gets you uh, affiliated with the. Uh, no, no, that doesn't quite work. Uh, shows you around the city. Acquainted was the word I was looking for, by the way. Uh, so glad you approve. Alright, so this quest uh, basically has you running around to different points in the city, talking to different characters, and it's to acquaint you. Yes, my vocabulary does work, just... Not all the time. Uh, with different parts of the city so you know where to go to find, say, the cantina for your rest area. Since there isn't a quote-unquote inn. Looks like Kem wants to have a chat. Salon Sekari Kai. In Bizo, the white eyes spill up press in Kretai. In Bize, a one ata, a tragata in guys. Uh, 
The more challenging, the better. Waldufne Jamatte Jafraj. Yeah. No need to be friendly to him. Okay. We need to go over here. What you want? Manda. The Lord of Sorrow sent me. Listen carefully. I can say this once. A Chiss security officer stands at the bank. Hand him this gambling chip. He will give you a small item and further instructions. Now walk away casually. Alright, now that will take us to the bank. So you can learn where, well, the storage area is and uh, several other things. What is it? Does, what, what? Wait, you want something? Oh. I've got the best hardware and the best prices. Stupid badge. Good hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the badge. Hey. Okay. Looks like we got... Well, I'll leave this part in because, you know, again, I am running around the city for the first time. And in case you don't watch the other videos, you're only interested in this class, why not give you a look at everything that's around here? Such as the Sith Citadel Spire thing over there. And this big wall thing here. Yeah. Big ol' wall. Alright, so Kim, not really warming up to us. Can't say it's a shocker. Let's see, where am I going here? Right over there. Okay. And I am kind of doing this quest first, just because, uh, so I can have that look around. And then, from once this is done, yeah. You won't see me run around much in the city anymore. But it also does lead you to quests. Such as this guy over here. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. And the killer is allowed to walk free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the Emperor, are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces do? Nothing. I've seen the killer myself, but the authorities say I don't have enough proof. I demand justice! How exactly is telling me supposed to help? Well, I, I'm not fit to confront such an individual, but someone has to. Several days ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people seemingly at random, but pointing a strange device at them. The descriptions of the murder victims exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings. I know it. You may be mistaken. No. I know what I saw. I, I made no mistakes. I'm sure of it. I followed the killer this morning. Saw the filthy alien skulking into the Mandalorian enclave. Someone called him by name. Redigan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate alien scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. Punish a bounty hunter. Eh, what the hell. Alright, so we're coming up on the bank, which is this building here. Tell us the bank by the two symbols of credits and uh, a little storage key thing there that serves as the storage icon. I have a gambling chip for you. And I have a package for you. Do not open it. Better if you don't even look at it. There is an NK line droid. I'll show you where to find it. The package goes there. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Emperor indeed. Alright, so. Big old green Empire symbol. Why it's green and not red, no idea. Sure, there is absolutely no significance towards that. 
And all right, we're looking for a droid. And no, not my phone. <sighs> Why did I have to say that? That was retarded. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I tend to lose more than I win, but you know, hey, that's just me. So we've got a little fountain-ish area, more red doors, and looks like we found our droid. I have a package for you. For me? How wonderful. And I, in turn, have something for you, to show appreciation. If we have not caught the Republic's attention with this sequence, they simply aren't paying attention. Empire forever. And commendation. Yay. Alright, so with Kim it seems the only way to get his appreciation for me up is to act like a complete Seth. So yeah. We'll deal with that. Alright, so the little way to get to our uh, Sith Citadel Spire thingy over there is right over here. Take a quick little tour of that and uh, yeah, we'll be done with our tour section of this planet for the most part. Destination? Alright, so the left side is the Mandalorian Enclave, the center is of course the Sith Sanctum, and the right is the Imperial Intelligence. Uh, we do not need intelligence at this point, let's go deal with the Bounty Hunter real quick. Enjoy your stay. Since we really have no other reason to go to the Mandalorian Enclave, since we are not a Bounty Hunter. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? You've been found guilty of murder, Renegan. Any last words? Hang on. I haven't murdered anybody, at least not the people you think I killed. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen, I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. Why should I believe a word you say? I admit I've killed plenty in my time but I've never murdered anybody. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them. Didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. My Sith brethren obviously have too much time on their hands. I can think of better ways to pass the time, but then I'm not Sith. I'm in over my head and too many people are watching me now so I can't even leave. I need help, and I'm willing to pay for it. You interested? Don't drag me into your mess. Clean it up yourself. There's no risk to you, I swear. No way this will come back on you. Tell me what to do. I just want this problem to go away, and I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I'll eliminate the man who sent me. Never liked him anyway. <laughs> Poor scum. Should have minded his own business. Take this hunter tag. Use it on that nosy scumbag. He'll become my client's new target. When you're done, come back here. And I'll have your payment ready. Okay, so apparently I don't know Kem that well because uh, he did not like my choice of not going after the Sith. Although, I guess I should understand that. He does not like Sith. Wow. Yeah, I guess it has been a little while since I've played this, so... Destination? Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Completely forgot that he hates Sith and loves to eat them. Probably should have kept that in mind when I made my choice. 
Oh well. Damage done. Don't mind me. Alright. So, I'm going to run down there real quick and tag that guy. Be right back. Alright, so we're on our way to turn in uh, this bounty hunter quest real quick. And, uh, actually, there is a little trick if you don't like how conversations turn out. You can always dump the quest and then come back and do it if you start it over. And have that conversation again and then just take a different option. But, I'm not going to do that. You tagged that screaming idiot, huh? Only a matter of time before the Sith pounce on him. It's not gonna be pretty. Doesn't bother you getting that guy killed? I'm just conveying the message. I tried to tell myself the same thing about those other victims. I'm not happy, but it was either him or me. He should have kept his mouth shut. Here, this is every credit I have. Thanks for the help. Okay, so for that we can have a little rope bottoms or a count. Uh, you know what? And we level up. Yay! Rope bottoms. Okay, a little darker, a little more sinister. Ready for departure. All right, let's head on over. Enjoy your stay. Of course, we have to tag one thing before we can just turn left here and... Oh wait, no. We'll just turn left here. Thank God. Let's do the World of Warcraft. Oh, I have to tag this, fla <laughs> this flight point before I can go to that flat point. Okay. So here we are at the Sith Citadel Sanctum thing. Big ol' statue of the Emperor. That big, beautiful son of a bitch. And we're moving on. Looks like there's two quests in here. Looks like we need to go in here. More big. Imelaritis bulenais lake is a far bulen. Saying it'll be a ruin someday too, which I'm sure. Big old red doors. I'm gonna assume those are warrior. Maybe one would be an agent. Uh, what's this guy want? My lord, I have reports from the conflict with the Republic. You have my thanks. You are, if I'm not mistaken, the young Sith who took the Brental Star, yes? Tell me, what were your impressions of the Republic forces you fought? One Imperial soldier is worth twenty. Thirty of the Republic's grunts. Then this should be a very short war. I thank you for your insight in these reports. If you'll excuse me, I must study them before giving the Minister of War his marching orders. Fair enough. And wrists. Meh. We'll take the commendation. And let's keep heading on. Let's see if we can't, uh get to our story area before we run out of time. I see a trainer, so that usually points the way. Shall I instruct you? Execute, overload, and dock infusion, which is a second heal for us. And we'll move stuff around. Okay, let's go. I sense you will go far. So do I. Uh, where's this guy? Or check. Try the check. Are you acquainted with a big, ugly, half machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia! What business has he going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Ever since I arrived on Dromund Cast as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhold's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. 
Somebody should stop him from breathing, then. Yes. And that somebody is you. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Finally. A challenge worthy of me. Good. That is precisely the attitude you'll need. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. The impossible's my speciality. So it seems. I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves, and contact me by Holo Communicator. In Bizo ze waitai spira press in Kretai. In Bize e wanata atragata in jais. He wants to eat my master. Don't worry, my friend. Soon, as is the way with all Sith, we will kill our master and take their place. We will become a Dark Lord. And then a Darth. But that will happen in another video, probably far, far from this one. And uh, in the next video, we will head off into the jungle and deal with this little slave insurrection. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.